Hey, Gemini, Everlong Mystic here. Today I am going to do a silent ball game reading for you. And the silent ball game is kind of loosely based on the premise of three strikes and you're out. So it's kind of like um, either, you know, a, a repetitive series of events that you get sick of and do something about it, or it's just... So, some, it's something like that. It doesn't literally have to be three times, but it's something, it is definitely like a pattern or something repetitive. And we're just going to take a look at what the strikes are about. And we're going to look at kind of like what the final straw is, and then we will look at um, what was done about it or what will be done about it, and there is a chance at a bonus reading, Gemini, um, if at any time the sun card or a golden egg appears in your reading, then I will do a bonus reading for you. All right. All right, let's get these cards out here. You know what, I'm just gonna keep this card, the top, this top card separate because it kinda wanted to come out, but I'm not sure if we'll need it. We'll just set it aside. All right, so. What are these strikes about, Gemini? Oh, wow. Okay, so we have the Lioness card here, and this is the protection card. This is kind of like this, kind of like this eternal protection, because we do have the Ankh here. Now, this does have Egyptian vibes to it. But what I'm... Um, so what I'm really getting, what I'm really getting just right off the bat is that there is, like, number one, you need to know, Gemini, that you are totally protected. You are, you're more protected than you even know. You, you have, you're being looked out for. Um, I don't know if you just need to hear that reassurance or, or something, but these strikes are about protection in some sh way shape or form right so we're just going to look and see what the dealy bob is okay so we have five of wands and in this in this five of wands here it actually looks like like not so much conflict but it looks like there's a lot of people that are looking to you for protection, Gemini. It's like, um, I don't know, it kind of feels like, it's weird, it, it kind of feels like there's like this, like a, fa like a family of like latchkey kids or something, and they, there's the oldest one in the family who, who they all look up to because there's not like a parent or guardian around to protect them or to help them, you know? And it feels, it feels like, like a bit of a load. It's like, I don't know, it, it's like having to protect others and, and feeling like there's no one to protect you or no one looking out for you. And it feels really sad. I'm like getting this wave of emotion where I feel like I want to cry about it. Ooh, okay. So we have Knight of Cups. And <laughs> this Knight of Cups feels like, like um, some kind of relief. Okay. So, so whatever, whatever this pattern is, it's, uh, it's like you, Gemini, it's like you were put in this position of having to protect and not and not feel protected and it's like and all you want and all you wanted 
that uh, this that whole the whole time was to feel relieved to feel like like this you know like this knight of cups was going to come in and 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 freaking help you help you gemini you know what i mean all right so let's look at let's look at what the last straw is the last straw we have groundedness we have armadillo And this armadillo card, it is, it, I'm just really just seeing this armor. I'm seeing, I'm seeing this armor here as, as like a boundary. Like something, something happens, Gemini, where you, I mean, look, he's, he's standing up with his chest out. This guy is standing up with his chest out. He has a weapon and he's like all puffed out. He's got his armor and he's like, you know what? I'm I'm standing up. I'm sick of this. I'm going to do something about it. And it and it's like it's it's also it's still making me think of this Linus card here where this whole time Gemini you were you were protected. You were always protected. Even though even though it didn't it didn't feel like it and you you wanted some kind of um relief or rescue or something you were always protected so we have the moon the moon card here and the moon card under this armadillo is like it's like getting getting your armor standing up getting t you know being being tired of of feeling like this you 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 stood up anyways it's like you stood up you 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 made your boundaries you you did what you needed to you know it's like wanting to do what you need to do even regardless of the outcome it's like you didn't know like you didn't know how it was going to turn out but you you just know that you you can't you can't feel like this anymore And here we go. We have the ten, the the ten of wands here. And what's real, what's really interesting is that like this ten of wands, of course, like is usually a card of the major burdens, right? But the burdens are here with the five of wands. This this is where the burdens are. This is where they are, where they were. And this this ten of wands. This is like. This is the end. This is like the last. It's like, it's literally the last straw. The Ten of Wands is the last, it's the last straw before you get, you, you get, you break through, right? It's the last wand. So yours is the last wand, not the last straw. <laughs> but yeah, so you, you know, you, you stand up and you, you're ready to face, you're ready to face whatever it is that, that put you in this position. Like, let's, I mean, just as the example I was using, like the latchkey kids or the, the, the family, like the kids without the parent or guardian, it's like you, it's almost like you, you stand up and you're ready to face the situation or like the parent or guardian even. And even though you don't know how it's going to turn out, you still, you still do it. And it's like, it's like the final the the final wand that that kind of like break breaks breaks you out of this situation so you 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 really become your own your own knight of cups you you decide to relieve yourself it's like feeling like like this last star is like kind of like feeling like nobody nobody's going to come to the rescue so i'm going to do it my damn self you know so what do you what do you do gemini ooh Oh, this is interesting. So, so this is the silent solution. This is kind of like what you, what you do about it. And you have the Lynx card here, and it's the card of secrets. And you see how, you see how this Lynx is, is he's got his claws out and he's grasping this ball. And this ball is like you. This, this is you, you're in this ball and you're looking up here. It's like he takes, 
It's like he totally takes hold. and It's like totally taking hold of the situation here. And, and like this, to me, this looks like a, it almost looks like a crystal ball where you're looking into the past instead of the future. It's, you know, the secrets, it's like a secret of you. He's holding, he's holding this whole secret of you. And part of that secret, Gemini, was that you were protected all along. That's part of that secret. But if you had never, if you had never looked up, if you had never wanted this relief, you never would have gotten, gotten to the, the silent solution here. <laughs> this is so badass. Look at this alchemist. Look at this Gemini. This, this, this is like you. This is you totally transforming the situation. And I love how there's like this deep, this deep red color because it's, it's like providing your own security, right? It's providing your own security because this right here, this, this situation was not, was not very secure for you. You, you're spending all of your time making it secure for others because they depended on you, right? But now, now that you realize the secret that you were protected all along, that you are your own relief, you are your own rescue, you're, you're ready to take on a lot more because you are, you have such, like, you have such a more stable presence. Perfect. <laughs> Emperor, you're the king of your damn castle. You're the king of your castle, Gemini. You did it. Like, you do it. You totally do it. I love this. All right, we don't have a we don't have the sun and we, we don't have a golden egg, so there is no bonus reading. But this card, some wanted really wanted to come out, so we're just gonna look at it. Oh, it's the lovers. No, it's not the lovers. It's the four of wands. Oh, cool! It's the four of wands. That's weird. I just thought it was the lovers because they they look like they love each other. <laughs> it's the four of wands. That's so cool. That's the homecoming. That's you. Like it's like you are coming like coming to your new home. It's like your your new your new stable life. It just feels like so new new beginning ish. <laughs> Very cool, and there's love there because otherwise I wouldn't have just blurted out lovers, even though it's not the lovers card. Wow, it's like this new loving home, and it's like, and look, it's it's so balanced. It's so balanced here. You've got you know masculine, feminine. You've got the eleven eleven. It's like this is what it was meant to be. It's what it was meant to be for you. Very cool. This is such an interesting silent ball game you have here, Gemini. Um, wow. You kind of like took me, took me through a, a nice, I don't know, like a nice wave here. All right, Gemini. This is your silent ball game reading. I, um, I hope it helped you in some way, and I thank you for embracing your inner mystic, and I'll see you next time.